Hi guys, welcome to your December 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You? Timeless reading week three's energy for the beautiful sign of Taurus, sun, so moon, rising, and Venus. Hello, guys. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bam, so hello to my members. Um, thank you guys for your well wishes. Um, and I do appreciate your patience. I am delighted and overjoyed that I get brand new um, uh, uh, visitors to the channel. Um, one of the things, in the, especially in light of everything that's going on, is when I get new individuals who think that I don't do this. Like, this is my job. And I saved this little bit of information for the Taurus video because I got a Taurus clan that's unbeatable. Do you hear me? And I appreciate every single one of you. I have gotten your messages and your well wishes. This month has um, got a, a little bit ahead of all of us. And I get new people who's like, please, weekly videos. And it's like, where have you been? Like, what, what do you think? I just come on like, like I'm just like a magician. I'm like Houdini. I come around every once in a while. I had a tragedy. Um, I had some things that I had to deal with. I am a workhorse, uh, Taurus people. You guys know that. My caps know that. The majority of the bulk of you guys know that. But please be sensitive to what's going on in the world. You never know how it's affecting even your favorite YouTuber. So just be mindful of that. I had a comment in my Capricorn video. And someone's like, please, weekly videos. What the hell do you think I do? <laughs> That's exactly what I do. All right, that Capricorn video got um it it got uploaded on a whim, okay? I needed to stay consistent and do things in order. If um you have been affected and I owe you a video, it's a good thing because now the energy has shifted. So things should have shifted in your relationship. Please bear with me. Oh, I have to do things in order. I'm coming, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. So that's my friendly announcement. Thank you guys so much for all of your love. Taurus, you obviously, I did not, uh, put out a week four, um, um, a week four, um, uh, order yet because you, you've already kicked everybody's butt. I won't be doing that until Wednesday, but because I am, um, a week behind. You're going to be getting week threes and week fours, and then our week fours is going to be spilling into a month in, um, closing out the year. So you're going to start to see those a little bit into next week. It's still valid. So please um, be mindful when you read that, um, when you see those. And for the mo majority of you guys, you do. I do appreciate that. Same concept. Top three is being... Um, is being oh look at this energy is being extended so there will be an extension the extensions are in the exact same place guys that capricorn video did throw people off because it did not have a title at the bottom i apologize the software was going berserk okay so i'm gonna try very hard to make sure that i label it but it was labeled as far as titling and i let you know what energy so the corresponding um, the corresponding video will be labeled week two, week three, and then you can watch the corresponding extension. So I was a little confused, but that's okay. Um, it wasn't my, my normal people, but we treat everybody, um, on our, in our, in, in our house, in our marvelous house with love and respect as well. Thank you for that friendly announcement. I missed you guys. Taurus, let's get started. Much like the video that you got last week. When I meditated into this particular energy and tried to tap into what we were going through, I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling it. Like, I know that I speak for the Taurus Collective when I say that whatever this breakdown was, you're just not feeling it. You're not there. Um, like, if you go back, if you're catching this for the first time, please go back and look at a week two's video. Um, they pushed you away. They pushed you to the point of no return just to realize that they're in love with you. I'm not going to necessarily say that this energy is the same thing. Um, I do feel like right now they don't even know what they want in this particular week's reading. They know that they pushed you to the point of no return. Uh, what they want is you. How to go about getting you they know is going to take a major and epic changes. Um, much like the Capricorn video, you have almost all major arcana. Um, actually, I'm going to get into that and everything will be timestamped below. Let's get into the first blockage, which is judgment. 
when we come out of that judgment and I see what it's clarifying, it makes total sense to me. Part of the matter is being clarified by abundance. And yes, this car did get burned and I do have a new set on the way. <laughs> I do have a new deck on the way. It just didn't get here in enough time, guys. I am not going to be reading with this. <laughs> it doesn't mean that the um, <laughs> that the message is invalid. You guys are so silly. Marv, I'm going to need you to get some more cards, okay? Do you need me to send you the money? Look, Taurus, I know we like stuff, okay? Don't start. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. I'm a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and, and challenges. You know what's interesting about this, Taurus, is a person that gets this judgment card is the exact same person that doesn't know. Obviously, these are blockages or the energy that's going on between you and this person. And they didn't know that. They penalized you and held you to a standard they, that they did not hold themselves to. Don't you love people like that? If you want to annoy Marv... Please do that to me and, <laughs> and watch and see how far we're going to go. Like, I, I, listen, I am here walking my truth and working with you guys. I have to sanitize. I'm sorry. And, um, and I am, I, I work on me. And when I talk to you guys, I tell you what I teach, what I learned because I walk that truth and walk that path. And let me tell you the path of being one toe away from getting booked in, in cuffs because <laughs> Because somebody didn't try to go there with you. Remember, my aggression is Taurus as well as my love nature. So listen, listen, okay? I'm a bull. When it comes down to fighting, I'm a bull as well. Like, I don't want to have to put my hands on you because you don't deserve it. Sorry I got off on the tangent, but that's what I felt. I hope that that little tangent you guys understood because I promise I'm feeling it. The judgment is just this. This is a twofold. I judged you, Taurus. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I hear. Like I judged you. I, I I didn't quite understand your unique challenges and your path. I didn't respect it. I didn't even I wasn't even aware I had a path. This is what this person is saying. This is what this I'm just walking into my spirituality right now, Taurus. I had no clue. They didn't know. This was a person, and I felt this very much so. I felt the energy over in the Capricorn video. Um, if you guys do have Taurus and Capricorn in your chart and your inners like myself, go watch that video as well. Watch for yourself, okay? Watch for your sun, moon, and rising. See what the unique challenges that each one of those people or those energies are going through. Um, I think I'm going to start doing moon readings on my second channel too. Your moon really tells a lot. I'm not going to get into too much astrology, but I really want you guys to know you really should be, long story short, watch for your moon. Watch from your emotional perspective. Watch for your sun sign. Watch for your rising sign. Those three together should be pretty accurate. I knew a young lady on YouTube who used to do Venus readings. I really wanted to do that as well. I just have no time. Those were some of the most accurate readings. But especially if your sun sign and your Venus sign are two totally different signs, I would say watch for your Venus too. That energy comes out. Pause. Let's get back to this. They judged you. Now they be now that now the judge is now the judgee. <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying, the bun the abundance was blocked. You're not feeling it. You're not there. The love hasn't died because if it died, it wasn't real, right? But the the last blockage is love, right? Commit to seeing the good in all things. Clarify judgment for me. Taurus is release. Absolutely. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to, to the loving forces of the universe. Loyalty. Ha. Huh. Your reliability demonstrates your love and sense of devotion and consistency of being every single time. Go back and watch last week's video. Don't have me pull it up. Every time I read for a Taurus, it is always an unmatched loyalty. There is always something that you overgave and they that you overgave or you did too much and they couldn't meet you where you stood all the time. And I'm looking at this and I know that they were unreliable. They were unreliable in love. They were unreliable in just being there for you. 
the person that's strong needs needs to need someone to rely on every once in a while. You are a bull. You can do it. Big body, strong. No offense. I just mean I'm I'm thinking about a bull. They couldn't do it. And I tell I've I've told you guys before that a lot of times you may attract people that you have that one little thing, you bring that out. They have that one little thing, they bring that out. But when it really gets to the meat and potatoes of what makes you tick, all of the rest of that may be good, but can they carry you the same way? And that's when it starts to get unbalanced. Clarify love. The negativity that was brought into this relationship. Ha ha. Exactly. Forgiveness. The negativity that was brought into this union. The judgment. The judgments that were made. The judgment that were passed. The box that you were put in. One dimensional thinking is not your cup of tea. You may be fixed. But in that fixed energy, that's the way that you think. That's the way that you are. The very same thing that they end up being attracted to may be the very same thing that ends up biting them in the ass, right? Love being clarified by forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. And honestly, that's what it's all about. This person did bring in past hurts. They judged you. Now they're being judged. Okay. They blocked the abundance. They didn't demonstrate loyalty the way that they should. You came in the, in the, in the gate doing exactly what a Taurus does. I'm not saying that you're going to meet perfect people. Oh, contraire. However, you do give people an opportunity to catch up. You know who you are and you know what you bring to the table. Unfortunately, I would care to wager, especially for a lot of those beautiful Tauruses out there who I have the pleasure of spiritually advising every month. Um, I would care to wager that these people who love you, unfortunately, have had to damn near lose you and be hanging on by a thread before they realize this. And that is the problem. Release loyalty and forgiveness. Top of the decks. We do have death. So I know that endings are merely beginnings. And what cross this is creativity. And don't get this card twisted. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Um, and these cards actually go hand in hand because when something ends, we have to be creative and know how to revive it. I will tell you right now that this person is probably shaking in their boots now because this is definitely come came to an end. And it's not. You're good. This is what I'm here. I'm seeing it now. I think we got a nine of pentacles in last week's reading. This week, I know that that was all Taurus energy. I believe, I remember it. You guys let me know what that card was. It was a nine. There is a nine this week too. First card out is strength, Leo energy. Second card out is the emperor, more fire energy, Aries. Heart place, four of cups. Yes. And if you look and see that imagery, you better look twice because that's exactly what we're dealing with right now. We do have star Aquarius energy in time for the age of Aquarius. Merry, happy, merry, happy, happy, merry belated Christmas. First of all, the same day that the sun shifted into the beautiful sign of Capricorn, we had a great conjunction. And I want you guys to look out for the links and go check me out on my second channel and find out what house and what your great conjunction focus is going to be, okay? The video is done. I just need to edit it. Please give me an opportunity to become acclimated with things. I'm working as fast as I can. We do end this with the nine of cups. Top of the, I'm sorry. We do have princess of cups, okay? And sprinkling this energy on all of this is said devil, the devil. Um, major Arcana here, Leo energy. We have also Emperor energy, Aries. We do have the star, Aquarius. We do have the devil, Capricorn. Um, I'm letting you know that this person has an incredible willpower. 
this person um, is really trying hard to be strong. Um, I'm going to tell you, I had an epiphany before we get these romances, romance angel oracle cards out. And I was looking at what I'm going into for my personal year. And I was doing all of that. I am offering four limited time readings on your personal year um, and tarot reading. This uh, numerology slash tarot reading, by the way. Um, and I was looking at it and I'm like, wow. So the person that I love and I are going to go into two different personal years. And I thought to myself, if this is what he went through last year, oh my God. Now, I'm not saying that he gets a pass for our separation that I'm going through right now. And don't cry for me, Argentina. I'm good. What I'm saying, though, is, Taurus, I said that to say is that if what I'm feeling is any is is any consolation to what he went through last year, then I'm not mad no more. Like, I'm definitely because going into my personal year five. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, and, and I want to, you know, guide you into numerology. Globally, we're going through a five. It's supposed to be a whole lot better in so many other ways. I don't want to get in, off into numerology too much, but I just want to bring that up. So some of you guys who've been trying to get this to fit and, 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 and mold the way you want it. If you finally come to a point where you're like, okay. I'm telling you, it's going to get greater for you, Taurus. Trust me. I've already done the research, clan. I'm telling you, tribe, we got, I'm, I am telling you, enjoy that time. Because who didn't deserve you is the person who took you for granted. Back to this person. They're trying to be strong and they do want to come in. Um, I do see emperor energy. There's a shitload of fire. Um, the heart of the matter does show that they know that you're not on that. Therefore, if Cubs is you saying, um, okay, I'm good. And you're not being mean. You just got to a point where you've suffered. I say this every single time, cross watcher. Your Taurus will suffer in silence while you think if this resonates that you out being footloose and fancy free and you got a Taurus somewhere crying, waiting on you. Listen, they will if they love you, but you won't know it. <laughs> you got one time, one time, and it's a, it's, it's, it's a wrap. So if you're coming off of that cross watcher energy where you didn't know, the best thing to do is to take it slow and give your Taurus your, the energy that, I mean, the, um, the, not the energy, but give them the space. Because if you beat down that door with this emperor energy, it's go you gonna stay in this four of cups energy because when they were there, you wasn't there. And now you're there, they're not there. And you guys have to really dig deep and find out why you keep missing each other. Okay? They're extremely hopeful. They want the <laughs> you are their wish. You are their wish, Taurus. And I'm going to go ahead and get the romantic intentions, but I'm telling you, um, they know that they've had some temptation and some things that they're attached to. I really do looking at release and loyalty and forgiveness. To They're now able to activate the power of love. They want your forgiveness. And it was because they were stuck here in this devil, judging, not able to release those energies. They, the love was not between you. You may have fallen in love, but at some point things got strange, right? At some point things got to a point where every, at every turn, there was some new form of blockage. You couldn't understand it, you know, and you go in knowing we all go in thinking that we know you don't act off impulses. You don't act off impulses. You act off of what you know. Um, you make your mind up. Something tells you good, bad, or indifferent, Taurus, and you just know. This person must have fire in their chart. I really do feel like we're dealing with Leo, Aries, Aquarius, someone that may have air. I do see water, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And when I'm looking at this Princess of Cups, I'm telling you that there is a message. That message is, I miss you. That message is, is that I want... 
this to go back. It's not going to be at the level in which you expect unless I see it here. And we will dive a little bit deeper in the extension as well, Taurus. But I know that they want to come back. But you can't mess up like this. And let me stop. Let me pull myself out of it. But I know you guys. <laughs> Cross watcher, if you want your Taurus back, don't come at them with this page. Um, it's going to take a little bit more. And that is what they want to rush in. But that rushing is not going to work. Um, maybe... I'll take it. I'll give this person the benefit of the doubt in two ways. I hear you now. Uh -uh, Marv, don't give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Only from this perspective, clan. From the standpoint that they're trying to change something within themselves. From the standpoint is that I see the star. I don't see temperance, but I see the star. So I'm going to give them half of that benefit. They're, they recognize it. And that's the first step where it's recognizing that you have a problem. Okay. Um, there is a lot of fire. And in this fire. Sorry, guys. It's always falling. Yep. Give your relationship a chance. It's clarifying the strength card. That sounds like, okay, give the relationship a chance. It's not that easy. Especially when you have an emperor's mentality. I ain't never wrong. I'm never this. This person definitely thinks that they're right all the time. And for them to have to, A, they don't communicate well. This is the way that they communicate. I miss you. Um, you know, that type of thing. It's never deeper than that. You don't want surface shit. You don't want surface work. You need something that's a little bit below, below the surface. And if a person doesn't know how to meet you at that point, is going to prove disastrous because they're going to end up putting their foot in their mouth. If you don't have the patience to communicate how you feel, let's talk about it. Leo, okay, they don't know. I'm only speaking from a Mercury perspective. The strength card, Leo energy, if you come to me um, or a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so I'm one of those, and you come to me with a very Leo um, type communication and you have to constantly pull yourself in it, I don't want to hear it. If you come to me, speaking to me like an Aries where you're ready to get it over with, I'm supposed to get over it because you're ready to move on from it, you already losing. So I'm hoping that this star is going to somewhat temper still, although temperance isn't here, this person's communications because if not, they know that in the heart of the matter, you're not on that. They can feel that from you. Clarify the emperor. So I hope that these romance cards give this person's intentions justice. Aha. Uh -huh. Pay attention to the red flags. Exactly. And that is what I'm saying. He is not yet ready. Um, that emperor's energy wants to rush in, but I don't think he, he wants to be told what to do, you know, and it's not going to work. Yes, that is what's going on right now. And this is actually what's needed. It's what's needed. They didn't really give this relationship the chance that it needed. I'm going to give them half of the benefit of the doubt now. I'm just telling you what they want. We have two cards. Deception is what needs to be healed and codependency. These are things that they're hiding from you. Where, sorry, where this deception is, is that they did not tell the truth. I'm going to go in with a sacred soulmate in a second. I'm looking up at the time. Codependency as well. I'm going to go in with a sacred soulmate because I want to clarify deception. I know that they have not been honest. Now, for some of you, that not being honest is going to resonate as the shit that they did. And you already know. Oh, we have. OK, here we go. You already know if we're talking about slapping your mama and, you know, stealing your puppy. I ain't talking about those people. Um, if they did you wrong and this deception was third party energy or something that came out as a devastating lie, which caused this separation. That's not what I'm talking about. But obviously it's resonating with some of you guys that way. And that's fine. This is still your reading. I'm just not picking up that person's narrative. I don't ever get people. Well, I do. Actually, I do get energy where I know I messed up. Yeah, that ain't what I'm getting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we do have playfulness with the nine of cups. They do want to recapture the romance. Um, it's funny because that's been a popular card. Okay. A very popular card. We do have past life relationship. Um, you two have known each other before. I'm actually very happy to see. Oh no. Yes, 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 yes. And then this could be the one 
clarifying the devil. So I, I stand to be correct. And now that I see this, first of all, the relationship defies logic. Okay. So if you, if you are experiencing a connection that you're good, but you can't seem to put it down, you're good. You're not crying and falling all over yourself, but there's still this curiosity. There's still this love, but you know, the routine is off. You don't go over, you don't see them. Uh, whatever. There's definitely been a change um, in time apart. It's on the horizon. If it didn't happen, it happened now. I don't really feel like you are upset about it, but I do see that it's spiritual. So if you were wondering, yes, it is spiritual. Lessons of Pluto clarifying my red flags. Patterns. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry for yelling because this Pay attention to the red flag, Taurus. It's also what is clarifying my emperor. And this is exactly what the emperor does when he is low vibrational. Patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense pull, push and pull, attraction is not possessive. And that's exactly what this person is. They didn't let you know how they felt. And uh, if this keeps, oh my goodness. Here we go. And what they're hopeful for is to kind of skate away from really telling you how dependent they are on your love. They like have overdosed on the love that you have given has left such an impression. New love. New love or a new phase in love is beginning and they don't want you to know that. When it's clarifying my um, star, I'm not gonna let Taurus know, no. I'm going to wear my false self mask, right? I'm not going to let them know how much I really do need them. I'm not going to let them know because I'm the emperor. And that was that little phony robot was the emperor. Whatever dance he does, that's what that was. <laughs> Clarify separation. Yep. New beginnings. Had it been something else, it would have been something else, but I felt it. Letting go, change, time to move forward, risk and opportunities. Top of the deck is unexpected. So again, unexpected people, events, messages, travel, or situations. Okay. So your key words, give your relationship a chance. Pay attention to the red flags, separation, dependency, dependency, deception, codependency, playfulness, and past life relationship. Um, they really do struggle with this devil. And the devil really doesn't want them to be honest. There is such an ego with this person. OMG. But you know, also, narcissists, and I'm not taking up for any narcissists, but I just want you to also remember that narcissists were human beings and there's a reason why they're like that. All babies are born as a baby. They don't just pop out and was like, I'm going to break people's hearts, lie, steal, steal cheat, and, and lie, and, you know, rob. That's just, you know, so... And I'm also not saying that you gaff about that either. But what I am saying is, is that it's my job to point out things that may be causing it. Um, I know that they haven't been able to release things. And the part of the things that they have not been able to release towards has been a lot of what they've been through. I'm not telling you to pull attachment calculators and any of that. You don't have to do that. Um, at all, but I really do see that this emperor and this devil is a huge part. Um, and it's really interesting because, um, I know an individual who definitely has like that good emperor energy and then they have an exalted, uh, Mars, which is in Capricorn. Some of you guys, again, um, I don't feel like in this particular reading that this star energy is a person that you're connecting with. I honestly feel like that is what they want, that they're hopeful. But unfortunately, until they come with the real, you're not going. I can tell you what they're not telling you is that they are pissed off at this separation. They want a new beginning. They want a new phase in love, but they don't know how to overcome that inner emperor. It is, it wants to dominate, control, and possess. And you're just not going. I see how you feel. But I can't tell you about how you feel. This is what they're not telling you. They want to give the relationship a chance. They've went back off into narcissist land. And when they went back off into narcissist land, 
what they didn't realize is that they thought, oh, I could just go back and revert back. It didn't work out like that for them. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. And I think I just got my title. But when they got over there, they realized that the grass wasn't greener. They realized that. And it could have been you being cocky a little bit saying, okay. And they looked at you like, oh, you can just give up. And you like, that's what you want. Okay. All right. And they wasn't, they thought that they would be getting you back. But you took a step back in the cut and it was like, okay. You accepted what they were giving you. You accepted what they wanted. They wanted this separation indirectly. They didn't come out and say it. Their actions showed it. And when you gave them what they wanted, Taurus, now they realize that the grass isn't greener. I love this. Now they want another chance. Now they want a new beginning. Now they realize that they want a new phase in love. Now they realize just how deep this thing was. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe, week three in the bag, okay? If this resonated with you, drop it like it's hot in those comments. We, get, we keep getting better and better, Taurus. I'll see you in the extension for everyone else. I will see you in about two to four days when I bring you your week four energy. Love you guys. Bye, Taurus.